Hi, I'm Joni from One Dish Kitchen, and today we're making baked chicken thighs. Now, this is my go-to meal whenever I don't know what to cook for dinner, or if I just want to get dinner on the table quickly. This is what I usually make. It comes together in about five minutes, bakes in about thirty. It's just simple, it's delicious, and I think you're gonna love it. Let me show you how we make it. So I have two bone-in skin-on chicken thighs, and I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm just gonna remove some of the excess moisture from the chicken. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands. Now we're gonna make the spice mix that's gonna go on the chicken. Now I love this particular mix of spices, but the beauty of this recipe is that you could use what you like. If there's a spice mix that you love, go ahead and use it. Creole seasoning I've used and it's fantastic. Taco seasoning works well. The point is use the spices that you have on hand, use what you like. For today, I'm gonna make this spice mix. So we're gonna take a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. I'm using regular paprika, but you can use smoked paprika if you like for a nice smoky flavor. And a quarter of a teaspoon of dried oregano. Okay, and then we're gonna add in a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And we'll stir this together. All right, now we're gonna take out about a quarter of a teaspoon of the spice mix that we've stirred in the bowl because we will use this later. Set it aside. And then we're gonna add in one and a half teaspoons of olive oil. And I like to use extra virgin olive oil. And we'll stir this together. And you're gonna see it makes a little paste. So then we're gonna go back to our chicken and we're gonna just spoon some of the seasoning mix on top. I'm gonna rub it into the chicken. I even get some inside underneath the skin it adds a lot of flavor. Now these are bigger chicken thighs than I normally use, so if you feel like you wanna add a little bit more, just make a little extra of the spice mix, but this is fine. So we've got some underneath the skin, and we've got on top and underneath. So now we're gonna take a rimmed baking sheet, and I like to use a rack that goes right on top of the baking sheet. Got a little water in here. The reason I like to use a rack is because it helps the air to circulate around the chicken and it helps to get that beautifully crispy chicken skin. So if you don't have a rack, you really don't have to use it. Just put it on a baking sheet and it's fine. So we're gonna put our chicken on the rack. Okay, now we're gonna take that extra quarter teaspoon of seasoning and we're just gonna top the chicken with it. All right, and then we're gonna bake it in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 30 minutes. Okay, so I just took these out of the oven. So I will check the temperature. You want it to be between 170 and 175, and depending on how big your chicken thighs are, you may need to cook it a little over 30 minutes. So between 30 and 35 minutes. 173, perfect. All right. Now remember, if you don't have a rack, you don't need to use one. It just helps the skin crisp up beautifully. And if you want your skin even a little bit more crisp than this, just pop the chicken under the broiler for just a minute or so, and that should crisp it up even more. You can really serve the chicken with just about anything you love. I'm gonna serve it with a little bit of red rice, use some buttered noodles or some sauteed vegetables or roasted vegetables spaghetti squash, limitless ideas. And here you go, easy baked chicken thighs, a wonderful meal that comes together in around 30 minutes, absolutely delicious.